Hello everyone, it's Emily here and I'm back with another River Talk. This time I'm going to talk about how seasons impact the river environment, specifically the impacts of the autumn and winter months, as well as the importance of river banks and soil. So the seasons have a big impact on river environments and as we have transitioned into autumn and we are moving towards winter you can really see the effects that this has on the river habitat, specifically on the flow of streams and rivers. As we get deep into the autumn months we have more wet and rainy days and this makes the river and stream water level rise and then this increases the speed of the flow. But of course, as we have more wet and rainy weather, the risks of floods also increase. And this is another reason why river banks are so important, as well as the ecological roles of keystone river species, such as beavers, which build dams to help diminish the risk of flooding. But another really important factor during the autumn and winter months, and just throughout the entire year, is soil. Healthy soil helps to stabilise and reduce erosion on river banks as well. And it also decreases the amount of sediment and nutrients reaching our waterways. Now this is extremely important because if too much sediment gets into the river environment, this can alter the water chemistry. And it can also settle on organisms in the river and smother them and lead to decreases in photosynthesis and the suffocation of river species. And if too much nutrients reaches the river environment as well, this can lead to excessive algae blooms, also known as eutrophification. And this again alters water chemistry and decreases the level of oxygen in the water, which can be very harmful to many river species. And of course, there is a lot of organic matter in soils that is essential for ecosystem health. The soil can contain decaying matter, fungi, bacteria and other living organisms, as well as nitrogen, phosphates and potassium, which are essential for plant growth. The West Country Rivers Trust do a lot of work with soils and they work with soil scientists to help monitor soils, increase understanding and hopefully increase soil health as well. The West Country Rivers Trust also do a lot of work for riverbank restoration. Now of course in a river habitat there are many things that organisms rely on. You've got the constant supply of water, sunlight, nutrients and minerals, um, but of course they also rely on physical material as well. Now lots of twigs and bits of wood and things like that of course that can come from trees um, around the river habitat but sadly due, due to the straightening and flattening of river channels over time the complexity and diversity of river systems has decreased so to help increase the complexity and diversity of river systems and improve the habitat um, for many river organisms, the West Country Rivers Trust will lay and add um, more woody material to river systems that have been um, stripped of this important uh, physical material for river species. So they will lay and place um, twigs and uh, logs in different positions and this will decrease riverbank erosion and of course make more habitats for many organisms. Adding more woody material in the river habitat helps again trap sediment before it reaches the river system and it also provides upstream cover for spawning trout and again as I said many habitats for many organisms and it also can create varying velocities in the flow of the river which might be suited to organisms that don't need or like a fast flow and need slower flows to survive. Creating more woody and shaded areas can help decrease the risks of increasing water temperatures. Now this is especially important from a global warming stance. There are many species in the water or in the river system, particularly salmon, that 
can't tolerate increases in water temperature levels. And if water temperature increases, this actually also lowers the level of oxygen within the water. And again, salmon need well oxygenated water to thrive and survive, as well as do many other freshwater species. So undertaking projects like this and helping to keep the river ecosystem at balance is very important. But if you have a river habitat that has too much vegetation and too much overshading, then the West Country Rivers Trust will undergo river bankside management and increase areas of sunlight that are needed as well. And this overall helps balance the ecosystem so that you have areas with shading for certain species and species to hide among, but then you also have areas of sunlight, which helps obviously increase primary production and the overall health of the river environment. So yes, as I said, it really is all about that balance. Monitoring river habitats to see if there's too much vegetation in one area and too little sunlight in another and trying to reach that ecosystem balance that is vital for the entire food web and health of organisms within the freshwater river habitats and habitats outside of this as well that all connect to the river. So I hope you enjoyed this river talk and as usual head over to the West Country Rivers Trust website and socials and see how you can get involved with protecting these precious ecosystems. And I'll see you all again soon with another river talk. Stay safe. Bye.